Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH. Uh, today we have a uh, Evolution 777 with a new setup. Uh, a lot of people ask for the bolt-on instead of uh, gluing the sensor ring right here on the back. Um, this is what I was able to come up with. Okay, so it's a new way of doing it. It's just take the two bolts out and put my part on and it will be right where it's supposed to. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see there because the camera might not focus on that point. Okay, so you can see there, there where the sensor is. The magnets are right there. Let me see if I can focus on it. Mm, not really. So, this is the new bolt-on. Uh, later on I will, I have another engine here and I will make uh, a video that will show how to install it and in all nine yards. One thing different about this one it's a full uh, gasoline version, okay? Now what I've been done on this one, I don't know how to show it, okay? It has a Walboro carburetor on the back. Now in order to have this, you'll need to have one of those pumps, okay? The electric fuel pump pumps that uh, Moki also uses so you can buy it online from uh, for the, from the US on the Vogelzang uh, it runs on uh, right now it's running at 6 volts battery the unit 7 cylinder it's here now in order to do this uh, modification I had to add a 3 8 10 millimeters spacers so the carburetor will will go nice behind there so as you can see there is where it goes okay a little bit more so I hope you guys be able to see it alright other than that uh, the prop it's a 2410 okay I'm not sure if I will be able to start my hand because I cut my finger boo boo on one of those APC props hey those so right now I'm gonna try with one hand to connect the power for the ignition uh, I run it with a 20 to 1 that's usually what I do 20 to 1 gasoline sorry about that uh, 20 to 1 gasoline okay so the battery it's on tachometer shows that it's powered on so let's see get a little bit of a throttle oh and another thing so this is what I've done to be able to hook up the throttle okay so that will help tremendously so I hope you guys you know don't have to come up with anything else so I did that already all right now let's see them I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it it started right up with one finger my good finger so right now I'm idling around 11, 1200 it can go lower With one hand filming and now I cannot do any adjustments, but it is what it is. This is the way it runs Okay, you see As you can see it's very responsive and it runs pretty good uh, no I don't like this part now no I'm not gonna do this now so I'm gonna use my electric starter the one to smash it on the finger
as you can see, really responsive. It starts easy, but I will show more, but I can with with my hand that it's with one finger cut. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I still have the other version. I still have the other version where uh, the sensor gets glued on the crankcase. For the people they want to look a little bit more scale and don't see those uh, sensor parts and all that stuff there. Eh. Pull it too much. Just for the hell of it. Let me try to start it again with one finger. If I can. If not, sorry about that. This is the evolution. Okay, shut up. Okay. Now this is the Evo 777. I'm working on the 735. I have pretty much the same setup. I have to take the time to do the install. That will be only the glow version and hopefully it will run through the regular carburetor with the gas. We're gonna see if that works and how it works. So then again the carburetor back there and that's the way I made the throttle so you will be able to use it um, what else the choke don't have to use it since the electric pump does the job why the pump okay because this one it uh, has the crankcase fuel that goes into the cylinder it's no pulse it cannot be worked uh, working the, the pump side of the carburetor okay so that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know what version you want so you want the bolt-on or the glue one so some people want the bolt-on for easy and they don't care about the scale look and if you wanted the scale look now if we go and look here you see you see my part right there red like a sore thumb now if you have the glue on you won't be able to see anything behind the prop so with all this being said thank you guys and uh, have a safe and great flying <laughs>